protection. How is the ferry? Uh, I do get to look through it. Not really, not on a normal ride, but just when I think about the windshield. Do I recommend the windshield? Over our heads, literally. Oh my God, look. Right over our heads. I'm going for a ride with John and I'll be reviewing the uh, Harley 10 inch windshield. Harley Davidson corporate. Matt, thank you so much. Sent out a windshield, a windshield for me to test out. I'm gonna install it. So just now I'm gonna slap it on, show you what it looks like compared to the stock, to the stock one. And tomorrow on the ride, I'm gonna review it, see if it protects, I suppose it does, but I'll compare it, I'll tell you. Uh, how it feels like in terms of wind protection and with the new audio system by Rockford Fosgate I'll be able to tell you you know how it performs with uh, the wind protection and the music and this whole vacuum bubble surrounding the cockpit area so let me put it on this is the part number tall light smoke finish uh, right out of the box I can see that the tint on it is is not the same as as what the stock comes it's a lighter brighter tint it's pretty much almost clear, completely clear. Okay, can you see? You can see that it's pretty much forms exactly the same shape, but it's taller. It's four inches taller, I would say, yeah. Let's take these uh, bolts out. There, there are 27 Torx, 27, six bolts. You start from the, uh, the four top ones and then lower the bottom ones, take them off. The last one is that one or that one. The minute you take it out, the whole thing slides down, so. And it's done, and pretty much you can see it's almost completely clear almost completely clear very very light tint to it and tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna try it out see you know how much uh how much of an improvement uh, we get with wind protection i i imagine a lot because i was getting quite a lot of uh wind on uh the topper like face area like from here lower i was okay here i was getting a lot of wind not buffeting it was clear it was clear wind steady but I was definitely getting my helmet. My half helmet was like lifting. Again. Okay guys, I'm at uh, John's. We're going out for a little ride. Like I told you yesterday, I switched over the windshield to the tall windshield. It's four inches taller than the stock. It's a bit lighter. The tint is a bit lighter, obviously, because, because uh, I do get to look through it. Not really, not on a normal ride, but just when I'm, you know, when I want to see close. I can't hear him. Let's see. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, when I'm looking, let's say I would say 10 yards, I don't know, 5 to 10 meters in front of me, ahead of me, if I look close, then I'm looking through the windshield. Otherwise, I'm looking, uh, I look above it. 
So with that, we're gonna go to the Hawk's Nest area. Uh, Hawk's Nest ride, drive. Beautiful, twisty, nice, chill, calm. We're gonna test ride the audio system with this 10 inch windshield. So now you're wondering how is it that I'm playing music? How am I playing music on this video? Well, what I did is I created actually a, a soundtrack, a 20 minute soundtrack with a royalty free music. It's music that I'm, I pay to actually to be able to use it on video. So I put a variety of uh, different, different tunes, different styles, country, rock, hip hop, I think even instrumental music so you can hear a variety of uh, sounds and you know see real life real life let's put real world uh, experience what I, I'm also doing I'm I put a microphone I just closed my uh, my helmet visor I put a microphone near my ear so the music you're actually hearing any sound you're hearing is is what you're gonna be hearing when you're, uh, you know, wearing a full face helmet, a full face helmet. So. Check the mic and make sure it sounds. Now you hear John's beast chrome work engine, uh, chrome works pipe. Now I'm using the Rockford Fosgate uh, audio. App. So what it does, it's got, I put I think on automatic uh, volume control, so as we pick up the speed, the volume is going to be uh, increasing, if I set it properly, let's put it that way.
going at high, high, high speeds. The sound is beautiful. The sound is clear. I can hear it. for a cup of coffee just before we hit the hawk's nest all i can say is that the windshield really helps really helps in higher speeds getting way better wind protection as for this the audio if i hear the audio better or not I, the truth is i can't really i can't really tell because it's clear and and loud as it is with the shorter windscreen so I can't really tell the difference. I'm sure obviously if I measure it exactly with a little, I don't know, decibel meter, it probably will be uh, a bit louder, but it's insignificant because it's, it's too loud as it is already, even with the, sh the shorter windshield. So uh, I kind of like this windshield. I'm gonna, probably gonna keep this one on for a while. It's way more comfortable in touring and long distances, high speeds and I'm really liking it, so uh, yeah. It, now as for the audio system itself, like I said in my previous videos, beautiful, great, great, crisp, clear. From what I can hear, it's beautiful. All sound ranges, sounds beautiful, loud. The only thing I wish they had is some kind of toggle or a little knob or a little remote that will be on, on the handlebar near my hand, near my left hand or right hand where I can switch the volume up and down. Otherwise, cause it, every time I wanna change the volume, whatever, I go to my phone, it's pretty uncomfortable. I have to take my hand off the handlebar and look down at my phone. So if they had a little toggle, even a little remote, hopefully Rockford Fosgate comes out with a little remote for the handlebar, that would be perfect. Did you ever ask yourself what goes into all, doing all these videos? Well, look, look over there, John was working so hard just to put to stand the camera that we have the, the right position, the right uh, angle, so it looks natural, looks good. A lot, a lot of time and effort. Not that I'm crying like a little baby here, but I'm just trying to let you sh see behind the scenes what's going on. Look at the bikes from behind. Just, just you see how, like how small it's, it's a mini bagger. I mean, look, compare. The road glide, okay, okay, to the lowrider ST, significantly bigger. And 
we ha we had little drama over here while John was doing a a little uh, uh, scenic drone footage over there. Eight eight. 850 yards away so we're talking about 2400 we're half a mile away it said low battery forced landing must land now and it was landing at the <laughs> pretty much over here in the little oh, lake over here in the woods in the woods in the lake so we were oh, like oh my goodness full throttle towards us and it just we just got it oh, oh my god <laughs> he was sweating so we're just entering hawk's nest Highway or like road? Not even a highway, Hawk's Nest. Love this road, love this road. So you can hear, let me put the stereo, the audio system. Okay, it's full, it's full blast. So guys, what do I think about the windshield? Do I recommend? The windshield, absolutely, absolutely. You get wind protection and sound and noise, everything, like beautiful, really good. It's nice and clear. So I'm keeping this one on because this does the job for me. And how about the audio system? Do I recommend? No question about it, absolutely, that's a must. You must get this audio system. This performs amazing. Really, really beautiful sound. Beautiful sound. The only thing that I said, I said before, I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna probably install some kind of a Bluetooth remote over here so I have volume control and maybe skip. But that's it. Otherwise, amazing. Really amazing. Now I'll just shut up and enjoy this ride. Very soon we get closer to the twisties. There's going to be, on our right side, there's going to be a cliff on the left side. A huge fall all the way down to the Delaware and the roads are going to be twisty. So, put some Brazilian music on for you. this one i'm sandy watching holy shift till the next video guys peace out but i'm gonna keep on rolling it look at this look at the delaware look at the delaware and you, there are actually hawks over here huh did you see flying above us eagles. right there eagles oh eagles
right over here, over our heads, literally. Oh my God, look. Right over our heads. Two of them, oh my God. Oh, three, four, five, oh my God. Look how many, look how many. Oh my God. Look how many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right here, but behind you. Oh yeah, P.S. I know most of you don't stay till the end to watch the end, but as you've seen in the poll, officially the vote that got the name that got the most votes is Grey Ghost. So I introduce to you the official name for the Lowrider ST, Mr. Grey Ghost. There were quite a few of you that guessed and suggested that name. So between the ones that actually did suggest the name, I'll be raffling, choosing one, actually two guys, and sending stuff out. So two guys are gonna get nice, cool stuff. Stay tuned. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Cause I found my way